All right, guys, I just wanted to show you this floating secondary. I got it mocked up. The other thing I wanted to show you, too, is, um, is this, Gates, uh, this Gates belt. This is the longer belt. Um, let me see if I can find it here. Yeah, it's the 40 C, 44C4553. It's about 1.44 on the width, and it's about 46 and five eighths on the length. Really nice size. It will only work with, at minimum, a Dalton uh, DSSA2 shim. You need to be shimmed to run this belt. Um, I've got it set up with a nice amount of deflection. I mocked it up without springs. It, uh, it works well for, uh, for full shift. Um, I've got a couple of pictures that I'll post um, with that, and it shows the deflection at full shift. Seems pretty nice. Um, this is the, uh, the dial adjust. I highly recommend you put a little dot right there, well, anywhere along there, so you can, at a glance, you can make sure it has not moved on you. Um, I recommend putting the lip toward the inside with the flat on the outside because when that helix comes out it tends to really want to try to turn that dial adjust. Um, I cranked mine down pretty good and I put a mark on it and it seems to be good now um, but that's something you're going to want to keep an eye on early on just to make sure that you got that tight enough because it is just all aluminum you don't want to obviously tighten it too much and strip these threads on that little bolt but I think, you know, it's a $29 item, so hopefully it, it holds up. Um, you know, Dalton Aqua Black, 6WL weights. I got them swinging nice and easy in there. Different belt. So, um, yeah, I just ran it, and it seems to float pretty good. Let's see. Uh, you can kind of hopefully see it on the video. By the way, that's the uh, the sandal set up there. Got a little bit of bark to it. See the smoke pouring off my header wrap there. All right. Well, that's about it. I just wanted to show that. I think that's going to be a good setup. I really like that, and I like the belt. I really like the belt a lot, actually. Um, I think, as far as size-wise. That is the best overall belt, as long as you're shimmed. Now, the other thing you got to remember um, that I like about this belt is this belt thickness this way, the height of the belt, is actually identical to the stock belt. The stock Cat 082 belt is a little bit taller than that 38C Gates belt, which, you know, the 38C Gates belt is fine for stock uh, shim you know stock clutches with no shim just that original cat shim um, you cannot use this belt if you have not shimmed um, but that 38c is also not as tall as the stock belt so that kind of you know doesn't have as much uh, bite on the side so uh, so I'm really liking this belt these are these belts you, you can't even see the cord in them they're kind of you know they're carbon so they're impregnated inside and it's a darker color so you don't see the cord anyways uh, let's hope that uh, I have some decent luck with this I'm heading north finally to uh, actually ride so so I'm glad everything's ready to go all right guys rocker Dan here talk talk to you later <laughs>